County guys of their own. Malcolm right there in the middle. He got his first nine man chip with the affiliates at Owings Mill 2017. So here we go. Let's go old school and new school. Pull down. AFN the old school. Hey, been a wound for a while. Yeah, I said a wound. I'm like Elmer Fudd at this point. Tri State Spartans. New school with some veteran pieces at hand. And we're going to stay mostly on this game. Out of respect to the participants in this bracket. Some will scoff and say it's the C, but to me it's a big deal. It's the start of something new in nine man. I think this is something we need to keep doing. I think it'll encourage more teams to play, more competition, expand a lot of the talent pool, develop more regions. Left side complete. You talk about this Tri-State Spartans team. These are guys who've never been on a circuit for the most part. They have some veterans who have circuit experience. Danny Longerbeam over there. Try to zoom in on Coach Danny. Trying to set the scoreboard up too. I just got done my break. I'm still waiting for Keith Giles to get back from lunch. Service a little slow today. He'll be here soon though. We're going to get bonus coverage of Titans versus Demons. And as soon as Keith gets here, We'll get him on there. Right now, though, here we go. AFN Spartans. Tri-State in the green. Dakota takes it. And complete. Spartans on their third. Spartans on their third quarterback of the weekend. Keenan Puller was the starter yesterday against Bad Boys and Baez Auto. Baez in that game ended up winning 17 nothing over the Spartans. They then fell short to the bad boys, 25-16. Eddie Thomas breaking it loose at the end of the third quarter to give the bad boys the go-ahead win. Keenan Poor got hurt during that game. He is out for the remainder of the tournament. Not sure the status of Lucas Hall quite yet. He seems like he's out as well as an incompletion on that right side. They're down to Dakota at QB. Dakota got his first start last season in the Washington County Flag Football League. Playing against the program in the quarterfinals of the league. It was an absolute classic between those two. Spartans won that game in five overtimes, 21-20 over the program. Coda started that game. However, it was Kyler Todd, number eight over there. He is the one who finished that game for them. Kyler Todd was, a, was considered for starting quarterback at one point by the Spartans. Back in... Well, we're at the secondary. I'm stupid. <laughs> Done that before. I feel like Cash now. Except he's actually playing this time, and I'm not. I look like a safety. Yeah, I got it. For those of you who don't know, go back and watch Cash's live stream of uh, Misfits. And I think it was a championship game. He was in the backfield, and he slipped on a play while filming the backfield. I see Bay Stow trying to share the post around and update everybody and give historical context that I forgot the shifted plays. I didn't know that was fourth down just now. ADD kicking in hard. Here we go. Trail in the gun. The veteran. The old school and the affiliates. This team's been around a while. For those of you who've watched our live streams the last four years, you know this AFN squad, how it all started and came together in that summer of 2017 in the wake of the Red Knight split. They brought together of the Knights and Market Street players, players around from D.C. as well, part of the Affiliate Nation. They formed a large group. They had a deep talent pool, D.C., Baltimore, Hagerstown, Frederick. They expanded along I-81. They were a start of what was to be a hell of a run. Middle complete. And right now, Tri-State having a hard time. 
They got to take all the shots they can get. But right now, AFN, they're bringing it. They're coming full throttle. They don't care if it's B, A, or C. They want the win. They want the dub. They feel insulted. It's been a while for AFN. They were Ocean City champions, though, in 2019. We cannot forget who they are. That is a fact. They may not be in B today. They have a chance, though, to get some momentum with a C championship. Could this be a bounce back, perhaps? People will scoff at it and say it's C. They've been there before. AFN, at one time a day, four championships in a row two years ago around this time. They were in the midst of that second when they beat Baez Auto. We were right here on this field during that tournament when they won three of their games. They won games by an average of 21 to 5. They were unstoppable. They were a force. That momentum started that spring and carried all the way into the summer. Winter in Virginia Beach when they beat Rampage. They made AC. Got to the finals there with the Nomads. They got to the finals with the Demons who are over there playing right now against the Titans who beat the Affiliates yesterday. The team that AFN beat the last time they were here in Ocean City. That we had in the documentary the other night. 2018 Washington County Champions. They've won Maffle before in the B. They definitely could play. Tiff, but caught in the end zone. Oh man, that's gotta be rough of your Spartans. Touchdown, Affiliate Nation. And AFN takes a six nothing lead on the Tri-State Spartans. And in the battle of old school and new school here in the C bracket, old school showing why they're still the nation. Hell, Joey, I'm not hearing that. No, you saw what happened. If you would have caught the ball with two, it was going the other way. But if you all converted the fourth down, you would have had a first. Hey, you see me out here, so I'm catching some chips. I can't do much else. You feel me? I know, you all balling hard. You all balling hard. Tough one. It's tough. This is a young team. You see Lucas Hall right there. He played quarterback for them earlier on. Got him to this point. He put up 26 against 717 Elite. Killer B's defense, though, very underrated this weekend. They played very tough. They kept him to six. We'll see what happens to quarterback. Trail's going to toss it in there. That's old school affiliate nation. 7 0 A F N. That's Affiliate Nation football. Coming out today. Trying to get that C championship. They're up 7 nothing on the Spartans. We wondered who would win C. Honestly, when I went back and did mine, I didn't have AFN going 0-2. I thought they were struggling. Don't get me wrong. I just felt like Titans were better. But I thought they would beat Brick Squad at least. I wasn't sure what Brick Squad was bringing. I didn't really see anything that stood out to me when I watched them a while back. But I thought they would beat them at least. It may not be what it was two years ago, but the vibe and the feeling is still there. The Kodos is going backwards right now. And experience coming into play here. AFN has been here before. They are your bet here to win this one. Spartans are in a new sensation over in the fourth state on terms of this lower division. We know what the Misfits are doing, though. Hey, we're back here. We're back here. It's 1 2 between Misfits and Spartans when it comes to the pro teams in the fourth state. Different approaches, though. This team based a lot out of West Virginia. They had guys who've been there, though, over the years. Danny Longerbeam, he was part of the Red Knights when they made it to the Hagerstown B Championship. He was one of the starting linemen for them back in the 2016 Mason Dixon Classic. They lost to that Maryland Titans team over there back at a time when Locke was quarterback for them. I was remembering that one of the first tournaments I went into was that one. Little low, though, here. Incomplete. Oh, 
Cash Curry DeMar, he had playing time back at Clash of York 1 for Team Blunt Talk. He went up against the Maryland Bullets and Rampage in his circuit debut. Steven Renner, he played several times in Hagerstown and Ocean City. You see down there, there's Renner in the beard. Cash next to Don. They have somewhat circuit experience, but for the most part, this team is very inexperienced. And it's kind of been an evolution of several different teams over the last several years from the state of West Virginia. We'll get on that in a second. We'll have, also have an update as well from the other field. Dakota. That's a catch. First down for the Spartans. Where do they compare to where the affiliate nation is? Talking about the resume by AFN and what they've done over the years. I remember the first time seeing them come together in Hagerstown. They took on Ross Collins and his Warriors. It was right after they had won the Charm City Classic. A lot of core pieces on this team were on that Charm City Classic team. They're still here, there from the beginning. Ride or die all the way. The conglomeration of great talent over the years ran through the affiliate nation. Coda trying to escape, running it up himself. Oh, I think he was over the line. Oh, it played either way, but that's going to be a penalty. Dakota was, oh no, Todd's going to call offsides on the nation. Offsides on the affiliates. AFN said he was over the line, but Tom said it's an offsides on AFN. Quarter is called. At the end of the first quarter here in the C bracket championship, First of its kind in nine man. We're glad to be starting it. Two true teams from the four state area up 7081 and Maryland DMV all over. Two teams who were there when I started live streaming all this four years ago AFN and the Spartans. They may not be the same teams that they were then, they're still around though. Don Brown and company making their circuit debut, C Bracket Championship. Ron Ross and company, they're on here, they're playing. They want to win a chip. They don't care what kind of chip it is. They want a chip. They want to make history. They want to keep writing this legacy. The legacy of the affiliate nation over the years. And you've seen it on live. We've shown it over the years in these live streams we've done. We saw the earlier formations of it growing and evolving from that spring 17 season into the summer. We saw them come on the scene in Washington County that fall of 17. They took down the X Dogs. They took down Broad Axe, the staples of the league. They beat Adrenaline Rush to win the league in the spring of 18. They made noise on the circuit. Spring 19, the spring of AFN. Affiliate season it was. Four championships in a row appearance-wise. Ended that run appearing in Charm City Classic. And as an A-team. Got to duke it out with the Strong Island Bulldogs and Birdman during the summer of Birdman. Cash gonna punt it. Semi-finalists. And the B bracket at Capital Classic, falling to the eventual champion Scorpions. Quarter finalist falling to the runner up NTB Wolfpack at Worlds. Cash gonna boot it. Punt going. Taken down. Let's see what's called. Spartans cheering. Seems like they think it's a penalty against the uh, affiliates. We'll see. Keenan is out of an injury, Carlton. He got hurt uh, during the second game yesterday. He's not going to make it for this one today. They started out with Lucas uh, right there, 17. He played the first two games. 
put up 26 on Elite, put up six on Bs. Right now they got Dakota playing quarterback. Affiliates protesting the call. you want the they were the number one B team entering Worlds in 2020. The B bracket that year was all about the battle with AFN and Rampage. Spring was the affiliates. The fall was for Rampage. It was the Scorpions, though, who rose through it all. They won when it mattered at Nationals, or Worlds rather, that year. Made that launch to A is no mercy. They're out right now. Took out by the Misfits. We'll have an update on that later. AFN since then. We've gotten to see them on a few occasions. We had a game of theirs. Oddly enough, East Coast Nationals last year was the first time we saw the affiliate nation. Last year. We were there when they... We're going to tie, I'll do some of the Titans in a moment. We were there when they played in the A there. Big props to them. Didn't do that good well, but it was a nice try. Trail to the right. Didn't quite have everybody. And he's going to be pulled right down. Effort there by Todd and Kiefer. Next time we saw them was Clash of York. Two. They had three tight games with Baez Auto falling by two. They also fell to the Blackhawks by three. And then the next day to the Scorpions in the first round by eight. They were at Nationals. They had two, in the OMFFL playoffs, they won their first playoff game with the 4 1 0 Ravens before falling to a loaded Rampage team in the quarterfinals. 0 3 at Nationals, but had three very tough draws. You had the Nomads, who were a top five team coming in, and the St. Louis Spartans, who finished number two and runner up. Sacked there by Farmer. It was a tough draw for the affiliates. While we have been harsh on them, I will say we have been a little harsh, but we've also given them credit where credit's due. We've seen the story of the affiliate nation unfold over the last four years. They still got some of the familiar faces. And I think that keeps them going. The spirit's still strong. It may not be the affiliates of old, but they're not dead yet. This can be a boost. Remember, a trophy is always good for recruiting. And they keep building some young pieces around them. A nation will be reborn. Titans, Demons, they're going at it right now. I don't got an update. We've been focused on this. I want to pay respect to all three championships today. No distractions on them. We'll have some all updates here then. Complete left side, Guzman pulled down. Spartans, the mention, they've been on a weird journey themselves. When we first started live about four, five years ago, I did my first one, they were a team called Food Line at the time. Don worked for Food Lion. He had a sponsorship, used it for it, and it was born. Recruiting mostly out of the Greencastle and Antrim area, up around Clear Spring and a little bit in the Hagerstown. Trail slips here. He's going to get it off the. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! That's a touchdown! Affiliate Nation! He still got it. He still got trail. He still got it. No disrespect was ever meant to you. No, no, no. I, I know you can ball. I, I know you can way. ball. Wow. Falling to the ground, up in the air. AFN in the old school, giving it to the new school Spartans right now. We got the game here today, Joey. The nation has arrived. What are they talking about? Stupid. <laughs> hey, let's go! Hey, we kicked it! 
And this is just what the affiliates do. We've seen it the last four years on live. They were one of the teams there in the beginning. We were there. That's South when they won the Washington County League. We were there when they won Ocean City. The run they made, 21 to five was the margin that weekend. They were number one for a reason and B entering Worlds. And while things have changed, a nation has a nation has evolved. They're still the affiliates. Ty Barry coming on the field to kick it. Multi-talented player, D-line, quarterback, kicker, receiver, plays five man. We see him do it all. He's going to boot it. He sells some pretty bomb drinks, too. It's a beautiful day for ball, fellas. Y'all reminded me of the old days right now. This is a nice old school day. Extra point pending. We're going to change the scoreboard in a minute. Ball down, kick up, and it's good. Oh, careful there, careful there, Tech. Y'all like that? Y'all like that? And the affiliates take a 14-0 lead on the Spartans. Spartans got to do something. I mentioned Don founded the Spartans about five years ago. Initially as Food Lion, they were based out of the Green Castle, Williamsport, Clear Spring area. Had some guys in Hagerstown. 0-7 their first season in the Washington County League. Next season, however, they made some noise. They actually went 5-4. and four. However, they ended up being the B bracket runner-up into that, falling to Ruckus. Ruckus used that momentum to catapult themselves to the league championship game the next year where they would fall to Broad Axe. Then the next season, it was a rough year for the renamed Greencastle Antrim Spartans. One tight. We'll get some more story in a minute. To the left, Dakota. Yeah, I believe that is that reception. And right now, you are seeing what happens when a team like AFN, who's been there, takes on a team like the Spartans, who have not been there. Coda just said, what's wrong with us? Here's a kick of the thing. This is just different for them. This is different for a lot of these guys. We mentioned there is experience. Stanley Longerbeam, he was with the Red Knights when they were runner-up in Hagerstown in 2016. Steven Renner played with Ruckus at Ocean City and Hagerstown several times. Cash Curry DeMar, he was on TBT when we beat Bullets and Rampage. And then screwed up on Sunday. <sighs> Good times, Clash of York won. Other than that, a lot of these guys haven't really been there yet. Like I said, Kyler, he was with me on TBT when we won Keystone last year. He's played QB before. He can be a good game manager. That's asking a lot out of him right now, though. Kyler can manage, though. He's just saying Dakota's struggling right now. Lucas is healthy. I don't know what's going on. Keenan's injured. There's just no leadership at that quarterback position right now. And you got a veteran like Trail. He's done it before. He was there when the nation won Hagerstown in Washington County in 2018. He was there when they won Virginia Beach, the B bracket 2019 over Rampage. Just when Rampage was shaping up. A really good Rampage squad at that. Thank you. Veteran leadership and an experienced squad. They've been the Nationals. 
They played AC. They played A bracket. They faced Birdman. These guys know what it takes to win. And you're seeing a difference right now. Trail. Batted down, incomplete. Second down coming up. AFN leads 14 0. Spartans, as mentioned, though, 2017 was a rough year for them. They did get to the BE Championship again in Washington County in that spring. Three wins that season, but fell to Top Gun in the championship of that bracket. That Top Gun team featured Marquise Farmer on the line there, number 91. He was on that Top Gun squad. Scott Kiefer next to him was also on that Top Gun squad. Trail takes it. Got to play down here. Titans are gone. Meanwhile, pull down here. Sorry about that. I thought Titans were about to score. I didn't think that play was going anywhere. Didn't mean that disrespect. Titans moving, though, against Demons. We'll try to get an update there at half. Try to give C its respect. We'll be here for the ceremony and all that. Try to get updates on Titans, Demons. The next fall, Spartans, another three wins. They pulled off an upset on a on the program, beating them in the B bracket semifinals. Putting up 25 after only averaging five all year, and then followed it up with a hammering loss to the Red Knights and the B championship that marked the end of the original Spartans. Trail to the right, Sac City. Keep from coming in. They can definitely play in the trenches. It's just tough right now. They just the leadership on quarterback position is lacking for Tri-State at the moment. Two years went by. Coach Don Brown eventually merged him with the program. The program absorbed the original Spartans. And then from there. was a referee for a bit. Brought the Spartans back in the fall of 19 as the Tri-State Spartans. New approach. Expanded recruiting to I-81 down Martinsburg, West Virginia. A lot of talent there. Some guys, though, still playing around for the Spartans team. Who are from Southern Pennsylvania. But for the most part, this is a predominantly West Virginia team. And for that, you know, you got to give them credit as being perhaps the first West Virginia team to play nine minutes. Someone's got to look that up. And if I'm, to me, that's big in an area where there's over 100 players in A, B, and C bracket playing at in a 20-mile radius. And blocked! Renner almost failed at it. Remember, he had a return years ago in Hagerstown. Against the Red Knights for a score. They could have come up with that time. Spartans with a critical play, though. They just got to get a score. They're right here. Knocking on the door. Back in it. We can't afford to do that. It's matching Spartans return to fall of 19 to Washington County. Got back to the beat bracket down here. Catch. Touchdown, Maryland Titans. Big score for the Titans. We'll get over there in a moment. Spartans in the red zone. Get back to the story in a minute. See what they got going. I'll say the same thing at quarterback. I don't know, man. I'm not going to call it out, but I just don't. I'm not sure, man. I was skeptical about it last year playoffs, too. They still won that game, though. Can they win this one? Screen across the middle. Oh, we got to cut inside there. He had a straight inside lane there. Danny just pointed it out. Don brought back the Spartans. What's up, Joey? What's up, bro? How you doing, Julie? Good, man. How you? How are you? Good. good. We're both good. It's a beautiful day out here. Yeah, your thoughts on the Spartans team you played yesterday? They're not that bad for real. Uh, until the quarterback got hurt, they they actually played a good game. But now they got this dude in here, and he's just he's not it. They had the big stock. He knew that was that quarterback yesterday. Kanan, yeah. Yeah, they did probably. He got hurt. That's what happened. Yeah. yeah. He got a little gas in his leg. Yeah. Nah, he played a good game this game. I 
I thought this was the fucking Spartans that we lost to down in Florida. But nah, 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 not the St. Louis. This is the West Virginia Spartans. Oh, okay. This is from WV. Here we go. Go to stepping up. Saw that middle lane. Can he get in? Yes, sir. Tom says touchdown, Spartans. 14 to 6, Tri State. A little momentum is what they need to get back in this game. So Tri State gets in there. 14 to 6 is the score now. Spartans on the board after the blocked punt. Little momentum goes a long ways. See if they can carry it over in the second half. AF Fed will get the ball back. Corner. Incomplete. So we're at 14 6. 22 seconds left in the half. Match it. Spartans restarted in 2019 that fall. Don's recruiting went more towards Martinsburg, West Virginia, an area known for its high school talent. They've had a dynasty in their state in 3A the last couple years. Looks like we're going to have half. Farmer seems confident. All right. Let's see what these West Virginia fellas could do against the affiliate nation. We'll be right back. Actually, let's go to keep walking. I'll tell a little bit more story while we're doing this. We're going to get the Demons Titans for a minute. Came back in that fall of 19. B bracket runner up to the program in that championship game. After they had a 14 3 lead. Left side pulled down. Titans getting hyped. Here we go. Well, this is at half. We're going to go to Maryland Titans versus the Demons. And I'm going to check around, too. There we go. Halftime? Better not be halftime. Oh, it's halftime. All right, sack by Titans before half. Can we get a, let's get a score? Sir, 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 can we get a score? Uh, the score is 20-0. 20-0 who? 20-0 Titans. All right, it's a blowout. Woo, Titans are heading to the next round. 20 to 0 on the Demons. We still got a competitive one. They're going to finish. But Maryland Titans looking impressive early. They're up 20 to nothing on the Demons. We're going to stay with the C Championship. 14 6. Affiliates up on Spartans. Tri State played all year last year. They started practicing in January. They tried to get some reps as distant as they could during COVID and once it all hit they were part of the small little league we did last year played in the NEN tournament in five man runner up there Washington County looked a little rough at the start of the season they were 0-2 a, a couple players walked off seemed like they were going downhill fast they turned it around though 5-3 and three down the stretch they narrowly knocked off Showtime and the championship game in the semifinal rather they lost 33 26 Caleb Puller duking it out with Chris Boone in that one they're in two leagues this season Keystone and County right now they're a combined five and one in both they are two and two this weekend they almost they had the bad boys in a spot yesterday Julio just gave them credit they are down to their third quarterback of the weekend Keenan got injured after the bad boys game Mac also got hurt. Cato got hurt as well. Other players notable. They had Lucas this morning, and then they switched to Dakota, who just got the score. Kyler Todd is also an option at quarterback they could use. So we'll see what they do the rest of this game. I'm going to try to get an update. Bulldogs, they're beating up on the Elite Rebels right now. Last I saw was 21-0. Titans, they're just giving it right now to uh, to the Demons. Let's go. 
That score is 20 to nothing at half. Hey, dude, how you doing? Here we go. They're calling for both to return. Trying to get a score over on uh, Ross's field for Misfits Lions. So, ref's trying to get both teams back out here. 14 6 is the score here in the third. All right, see if we can get on Misfits Lions. 22 13 Lions. All right, thanks, Cram. Appreciate you, Ant. Hey, wishing you well in recovery, bro. Wishing you well, bro. I hope. To see you back on the field soon. Um, as you all know, Ann had a bad injury a few weeks ago up in Keystone. Hopefully, we'll be back soon. Thoughts and prayers were with him, man. And I know you're a baller. You are the definition of a professional flag football player. This game is your life, and you ball out every time. A lot of heart Ann has. We know if he'd be here, we'd be rocking. Down here, he'd be happy. He'd be in the zone, man. Glad to see hear from you though, Ant. Hope you're doing well, brother. Enjoy the lives, Monet, Ross. Hopefully, Keith soon, and I will have you. If not, we're gonna keep going back and forth. How you doing, Malcolm? Snap, coming, trail. Left side complete. Go back here. Wentz starting to pick up. As you all know, Maryland Titans are up 20 to nothing on the Demons. That game's done. At least, from the, at least you would think. We'll see. Not wanting to count out Joe Cassone and the company, but Doc has been on fire since he's taken a step down to B. He's showing just how different it is when you come down and have to face somebody like Doc who's been battle-tested. He told me earlier today his first year playing nine man was 1985. For those who don't know, 36 years ago, man's been in the game for a while. He's trying to get himself a B championship. Trail trying to get himself a C championship. He's been to B before. He's won before an eight man. He's won a nine man. Trying to keep the nation alive. Fakes. Going to that left side, complete. Stay up! I need that block! Get inside and seal! Don't watch it, baby! Help your teammates! And with the catch. Was you outside over there? Billy, it's in the white. Hey, move to the right, y'all. We're we, we, real jump. So that way your cleats don't get off field with mud. So you have some old school AFN white, some new school AFN white. Third down coming up. Spartans in the green. <coughs> Lions are up on Misfits 22-13 in the third. Misfits played them a bit better today. Seems like they've settled in. Defense, though, still a little shaky against that Lions attack, but Lions offense has been on fire all weekend. We talk about it. 34 against Misfits, 35 against the Rebels. Defense, a little bipolar, though. You look at it. Dominant over the Misfits team. We put up 41 on Rebels, but gave up 34 to the Elite Rebels? Craziness. Trail moving along. He's just first down. Key Trail Lewis. One of the few quarterbacks to beat Chris Boone in Washington County Flag Football League play. Boone dominated County for the moment he stepped in in that fall of 17, the same time the nation came around. All the way through 2020. Only three quarterbacks beat him along the way. The other two being Tay Sosa, who's over the Misfits now, and Matt Eisenberg with the X Dogs. AFN's path here, eliminated from the B bracket with losses to 
the Maryland Titans and Brick Squad. And with the way the Titans are playing, you know, got to wonder. Hey. Tough draw for the affiliates. The whole tourney tells the story. Brick Squad as well, you know, they lost the loss to them. We'll see what they can do later. That ain't in motion. Oh. Left side complete. Turn it up. Look at this. Oh, I thought he had a touchdown. Pulled down. Big game for the affiliates. Looks like Lions are back on the field against Misfits. Ross Collins alive for that game. Winner of that game will play what looks to be the Strong Island Bulldogs. 15. Pull from behind. Kiefer eating right now. Scott Kiefer normally on the O-line. He usually plays center. Long time snapper for Top Gun. Plays for Ruckus usually. Also, a, also plays semi-pro for the Brunswick Railroaders. He was part of their ACFA runner-up last year to the Keystone State Predators. They're getting to trail, which just a lot of it is they're just not able to stop it once he don't, they, if they don't get them. They're living and dying by the rush. Their pass rush is what's keeping them in this game. Secondary needs a pick. You need a pick here because they're about to get score again. Let's see what the affiliates can do. Trail drop it back. And complete. Key for getting back there. Yes, sir. I'm about to say, I'll take advantage of using Ant Daly here, too, Ant. That's who I'd be giving the ball to. I just don't know. I just don't think Tri State has anybody who could guard AFN's players right now. That's the thing. They're di living and dying by the pass rush. Pass rush has been very key. If you don't have the DBs, though, who can match up, it's hard to win if you don't get there. I saw that for years when I was with Survivors in the West Virginia Ducks. Two teams based, incidentally enough, out of West Virginia. Like the Spartans team. We always had the D linemen who could get there. We had, like, early on, we built a really good D line with Survivors. I remember it being a big reason that we had little issues with the Red Knights once we started getting the team going. But then as soon as... As soon as we wouldn't get there, though, quick passes, all that. That's how you neutralize a rush. We didn't have the DBs who could defend. And that little pass rush meant nothing. You could sack a quarterback seven times a game, but it don't matter if he scored seven times, too. The rush is there. It's just the DB play has not been there. B Championship is not till 8 o'clock tonight, Cram. We still got a while before B's done. B's got to wait, wait. I'll be here. I don't know. I might stay another night. We'll see. I might go home. A championship is coming soon. Strong Island's already punched their ticket. Rebels have tried, but not enough in that game. Kind of won by the high rollers, though. But this Rebels team played really tough this weekend. We'll have more on that tomorrow night and on OMFFL. Sack City, Scott Kiefer again. Scott Kiefer has four sacks, I believe, in this game. He is the unsung hero of this D-line. Nah, Killer Bees were eliminated in the C-bracket semis, Ant. Scott Kiefer is keeping them alive in this game. 
Four sacks he has. Lost to the Spartans, Amp. Trail fakes. Where is he? Incomplete! Back in the end zone, the official says incomplete. Spartans with an opportunity. Oh, they're looking at the spot. Hold on. Are they looking at the footprint? Tom says it was out. Tom says out of bounds. Tom confirming what the ref on the far side says. Tri-state ball. Here we go. And the quarter, I believe, was just called. Maybe not. All right. Looks like they're standing there still. I thought I heard double whistle. I think they're trying to say, and the out of bounds foot landed first. That's also a factor when it comes to that is which foot lands first. You can drag a foot out of bounds, you just can't land it way out. But we'll see. I have to go back and watch it later. It was quick for me. I was trying to focus on getting the shot right. Dakota's still there, a Q. One seventeen. Keenan is injured, and he got hurt against Bad Boys yesterday. He's out for the remainder of the tournament. They had Lucas Hall at the start, but they switched to Dakota. Timeout is granted. 14 6 AFN up on the Spartans. Affiliates out of Maffle, based out of the DMV area. The old school, so to speak. Tri State Spartans recruit out of the Tri State area, West Virginia, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. Ball to that right side on the pitch. He's going to go out of bounds. Pretty dumb. Oh, a late flag, though. Another flag, too. Two flags. What just happened there? What's going on? Two, uh, two flags on the nation? Let's see what's going on here. Fifteen yards against the affiliate nation. Spartans get a gain. Without their offensive leader, Keenan Poehler, without their defensive captain, Damian Kaysan, this team has shown they can compete on the circuit this weekend. Tough draw with affiliates in this final, though. Like I said, a lot of inexperience versus a lot of experience. The old school in AFN, they've been there. They know what it takes to win a tournament. Spartans, this is their first dance. Can they finish? Running it out, Dakota. Dakota gets a first. Dakota powering through. Remember that game last fall? Dakota got the start in the first two scores for the Spartans before Connor Todd got the save at the end 
to beat the program in that champ in that quarterfinal matchup. A week later, we're going down this way, fellas. Y'all gotta walk. Fourth quarter coming up here for Spartans and Affiliates. The end of three, score is 14 6. This were first and goal for Tri State. Well, I don't know what just happened here. What are they doing? Why are we going way back? Said first and goal. I guess I thought we were a little too far up the field. I was kind of wondering about that for a second. I was like, I'm pretty sure this was like closer to midfield. And so, well, I'm not going to get back there in time. So we're going to go to the Spartan sideline. Bad boys warming up. They got a mating in a few. I'm just trying to get over here. And don't come for me. Go to go to throw. No one there to look. Stay complete. All right. I would have tried to hit Lucas underneath, honestly. This conglomeration of talent. Fourteen six is the score. Spartans are down fourteen nothing, so they got a blocked punt that led to a touchdown on a run by Dakota. Down to their third quarterback, albeit. Oh, got it tipped and pulled down. Tri-State moving the ball. Third down coming. Third and goal. Bulldogs up big on Rebels late. See Misfits Lions real quick. Lions lead 36-13. Looks like we'll get Lions Strong Island a rematch from Virginia Beach for the A chip. Gonna throw up. Intercepted on the sideline. And a big stand by the affiliate nation. They're backed up though. They are backed up. And I say, as I just said, they're backed up. So in a way, that could be seen as a punt. It's only one score. We're back here at the two. And if they could go wrong, high snap, bobble snap. But it's the smart team. You're gonna. This is what. This is where experience kicks in. Facing tough situations in games late. You do got a lead, but you're also in a position where anything could swing this game back in the other way. A sack, a bad snap, ball off the hand and picked off. We've seen it before. Nothing is guaranteed, especially on this side of the field. Ball is down there. We're in the back of the end zone. No, incomplete. Hey. 
Spartans got some good rushers in there. Scott Kafer's been a monster. He's got four. Can he get number five to get number two for the Spartans on the board? Marquise Farmer, he's the heart and soul of the D-line. He's been there for many years. Cash Curry DeMar recently has rediscovered who he is, the flag player, as a D-end. Megan noise up there, the West Virginia Venom with Pat Freedom. Kyler Todd becoming one of the better rushers the last couple years. Oh, Luke is trying to come up. I might have shown it. Trail going to step up. Smart move by Trail. Lucas, uh, Lucas saw it, but he ran too soon. And when he stepped back, Trail saw the opening. Third down coming up for the affiliates. 14 to 6. And the fourth quarter, let me correct that. We're in the fourth quarter. Tri State Spartans, first team, mostly based out of West Virginia, to participate in Ocean City, I believe, ever, if not a long time. I'm not quite sure. We got to look at the history books at that one. An area that has always had some fly football players, but has grown in presence over the last couple of years. And this Spartans team is sh shown of what they could do. Left side complete. Dropped. Wow, I was confident he had that. Fourth down for the affiliates. And right now, they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a team that ran their league when they were there. AFN dominated the Washington County Flag Football League during their time. 16-4 and was their record. It was a short period that they were there, two seasons. Only teams who got them during that time that they were in county. Everybody got flags. Where the program, Broad Axe, and Adrenaline Rush. But even then, AFN ended with a statement. They beat the program in the semis and then beat ADR in the championship that spring to win it, making it a big statement for themselves. And that was the that momentum helped carry over to the start of what was the spring of the affiliate nation the next year. Oh, there's a whistle. Delay a game. Tri-State Spartans. They watched what the nation did during the time. They remember the affiliates. They've heard about them. They've watched them on live for years. Whether it be at these tournaments I travel to or in our league or on other teams. They know what these guys are all about. Here we go. Farmer's trying to get a rush on the outside. Cash trying to cheat in there too. Got his program flags on. Battle of two teams who were there when this all began 40 years ago. Takes it. Oh, not the best punt. Retired down the sideline. Touchdown, Tri State Spartans. What a turnaround for the Spartans. 14 to 12. Just like that. Just like that. It ain't over yet, though. They need a two-point conversion. Special teams are keeping this team alive. Two, two punts have set up two scores for Tri-State. A blocked earlier, which led to the go-ahead touchdown. And the return on that left side just now. We didn't see the actual catch, but we saw the rundown. AFN is saying it's. Well, I've had 14 for a bit here. Maybe it is 13 12. I don't know. Hold on. I thought they might have missed a kick earlier, but they said I saw someone signal good. We got to get a score here. My scoreboard has 14 for a bit. I swear on the second one, I don't know. Let him talk. We'll let him talk. I don't know. I see things sometimes. I don't know. I'm crazy. I'm wearing sunglasses on a dark day. We'll let him talk it over. I don't know what's the score. We'll let him decide. I I had 14 6, honestly. Exactly. We got 14. But if they have something different, that's that's what they have. I don't know. 
Straight up. Refs are discussing it. I don't know. I won't get involved. This is a huge difference for both sides, really. That's why they see refs. That's why they see refs. What do you have to score at? 14, right? We scored on the extra point and we scored on the kick. I saw it. I saw good earlier. I don't know. I thought maybe y'all missed a kick in my eyes. I saw it, but then I saw good. I don't know. I told. That was a weird play. Maybe it's hard to tell. I don't know. No, no, no. I'm just telling you. It's fine. No, I'm not trying. I'm not trying. I'm not trying. I'm not trying. Sir, I'm, talking sir, to I'm just, I'm no. I don't know. I've said it on air already. It's nothing. I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's up to them. I don't know. So all I'm trying to say is I don't know. Public service. I've gotten it wrong before too. I messed up at Sunshine Bowl. So I get it wrong. It happens. I am not trying to say anything to the rest or anything like that. There's no disrespect intended. I'm just there. <laughs> Sir, can I get you out of my end zone? I'm gonna. Ba I'm back here. I'm okay, filming, right sir. Now. Okay. I'm not saying nothing about referees, sir. I've said nothing bad about you. I said nothing about you. That's not something I said at all, dude. You got that really twisted. Come on, let's not talk about that. I got no disrespect towards referees whatsoever. It's a tough job. I don't know. They got 14-12. That's what I thought. I don't know. Maybe they have 13. I, <laughs> Dakota throwing. Right side, pulled down. Either way, Spartans are down. I don't know. Is there a flag on the AFN? Yeah, there's a flag on the AFN. I see just for the all. Is it 13 or 14? 14. That's what I'm trying to say. It's 14. <laughs> Is it disrespect to me? I was just trying to say that I, they, I don't know. All right. So I have a little more respect than that, but I've gotten worse before. Last time I was here, my camera knocked out of my hand. Dakota takes the snap. Uh, he tried to go forward, but he needed to throw there. There's not enough space there to even get forward. Um, should be AFN ball, and come on, guys. Don't start arguing here. And the ref's calling a flag on both sides. 14-12 is the score. I thought it was 14. I was just verified. It was I just said what I thought. I don't know why he jumped me for that. But I don't know. Another flag. I don't know who's all upset here. He's pointing at Tay. Tay's got to relax. So what's happening? Is this is it y'all's ball again, or is it after the? What's going on? That was the extra point conversion. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I, I was, all right, that's what I'm guessing. Yeah. It is. There was it was the score was right the whole time. It was 14-12. It was 14-12. I, I was just saying the rest. I don't have time to tell us that. I don't know. All right, let's back up. Get Philly. Get some space. Seven and a half. Wow. AF is going to be backed up 28 yards. <sighs> All right. We're staying back here. I'm just. He's got AFN back to the seven. So 28 yards and unsportsmanlike on AFN. Trail telling everybody to shut up. <laughs> That's where leadership comes in. If you're already affiliate, Trail's got to step up here and say something. Their players starting to come unglued late, but on terms of penalties, but I don't know. Been a good game, though, either way, man. I'm glad to be out here. Glad to be part of the action. AFN Spartan, C Bracket Championship.
Whistle, a false start on AFN. So I guess AF hit it to three now. 157 to go. A wild one breaking out here in Ocean City. Critical play. Anything can happen. Can't afford a mistake here. Trail going right side. Caught at the edge. See where they get him at. I think that he's. Say, say fourth down is what I'm hearing. Oh boy, Tay's getting upset on the sideline. Dante's got to relax, man. Come on, fellas. It's been a good game up to this point. Let's let's not ruin it with stuff like this. Come on. What's going on here? I guess timeout by the Spartans. So I'm guessing it's four, it should be fourth down, I think. Trail's trying to talk to his guys, though. I need a drink. I'm gonna need a drink after this. Water. I need some water. I'm hydrated. Titans and Demons are still going. Which is kind of crazy to think about. All right. So back to action. Spartans, you gotta relax. Spartans gotta relax. Gotta get composed. Both teams gotta stay composed. You already know stuff's going to get caught at this point. You don't want to take a risk and do something dumb late in the game. Don's running 131. He dropped the pitch. Trail looking at Cuzzo again. That's been a common thing in this game is they just stop the pitch. Let's put it like this, Cap. <laughs> Sorry, wind's starting to get to me. Let's put it like this, Catherine. I did nothing wrong, but somehow I always do something wrong, even when I'm just standing around. I don't know. It happens. I ain't going to try to argue it, though. Demons game's long over, PJ. They got smashed. Titans gave it to them. That was a beatdown. Trail in the gun. Trail riding it. He's elusive. It's like a shot. Got it. Fox running. Kiefer calls time. Come on, 
104 left. Looks like Rampage is about to get kicked off. I think they got Titans, actually, so that could be a good game. Mike did have dual coverage here. I think we got Ducks and Bad Boys and Rampage Titans. I'm still the only live guy here. So we're going to do wraparound coverage as soon as we're done the ceremony here. For whoever wins, it's been a good game so far between AF and Spartans. It's been competitive. It's been fun. Got to give love to the game, man. Man in motion. Complete right side. Starting up. First down, and that should do it. Old school AFM. Trail to Ant. Clock's got to start running now. The nation bringing that veteran experience to Ocean City. Time running off. Don't believe that. All right, the Spartans do have time. Looks like Rampage Titans about to start there. We got Ducks against Bad Boys here. B bracket coming together. C bracket coming to a close. A is happening. Misfits in Strong Island. That's coming soon. It's been a great weekend in Ocean City. Shout out to Andy Hoffman, Kent Page, and company for the tournament they put together. He said he's taking a knee. Yeah, so they can do it. Let's call clock, so that's game. AFN is your first ever C bracket champion. You see them shake hands with the Spartans. That's what you're going to do. Number 50, you consider yourself suspended. Well, final score. Final score of this one, 14-12. Affiliate Nation are your C-bracket champions. First ever. New start to a new era. New level. Old familiar face, though, in the Affiliate Nation. They go back-to-back -back in Ocean City. B of 2019, first ever C champion 2021. The experience they brought to the team. First one. First ever C champion in nine man history. We in there, baby. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. We may have a team yesterday. Everybody here today, but it is what it is. You know, got to play the hand we was dope. I appreciate you, Joe. Appreciate y'all. Y'all get a trophy or anything? I, I but, man, look. This is this, this a little different. So. You just a ceremony. All right, no ceremony. All right. We don't need one. Your 2021 Ocean City C Bracket Champions once again holding the gold, the Affiliate Nation. We were here two years ago when they did it for the B. They win the C today. The nation is on the rise. We'll see what they can do the rest of 2021. Coming up next, we're going back and forth. We got dual coverage. We got Rampage Titans. We got Ducks versus Bad Boys. Coming up next, it's going to be lit. It's going to be legit.